In this video, we're going to focus on how we can show specific items in the scale while hiding everything else. So you can see here, we have basically the time, if you look at the scale or at least at the tooltip, you can see this is 1 a.m., 2 a.m., etc., etc. However, what we did here really is only show the most important ones as an interval of every six hours. This will keep it nice and it's easier to read as basically the day segments. So let's start to explore how we can do this. So let's start to explore how to show the specific ticks in the skills in Chart.js. So what we need to do first is to get our default code, which is in Chart.js3.com, getting started. You can find the link also in the description box. And if you scroll down here, we're going to grab this chunk of code. And if you want to understand what this code does, make sure you watch this, this video that will explain the JavaScript of this file. All right, so once we have this, I want to just paste this all in here, cut this out, and I'm going to convert all of this, or at least change the title, save this, and refresh. So because this was a very specific question, and the example was based on uh, a scale with hours. So what I'm going to do here uh, is to add up the hours as I receive them based on that question. So it was, for example, here, 12 midnight, and then we have here 1 a.m., and then I can just copy this. It will be 2 a.m., and I guess here, 3, 4, 5, 6, and then we can do this probably a few more times. Do that one in there, and then here, let's say here, a.m., this is 4, 5, 6, 7, eight nine and then ten eleven and then twelve is what we call here noon so i will do here double end that will make sense and then of course i'll just copy this again including the noon comma here put that in here and then just convert this into pm all right so just convert them pm 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 so basically we're showing in total of 24 hours starting at 12 midnight and ending again back at 12 midnight. So in total here, so if I save this now and refresh, we should have here in total 25 items. So if I do here now a console log, a console log, just to check and confirm, and we can say here, let's get the data.labels and then we say dot length data.labels, or we can do here maybe just a table itself. Refresh, open up developer tab. You should see here now we have here array of 25. And I was expecting a table, but for some reason it doesn't show, but that's all right. Oh yeah, that's it. All right, I have to just refresh again and save it properly. So you can see here we have this array with 25 elements, but 24 is the last one. All right, so we have this, but the request was this. We have all of these, but we want to show a interval of six hours. So basically, we want to see 12, 6 a.m., 12 noon, and then 6 p.m., and then 12 midnight again. So let's start and work on that. So how do we do this? Well, we can just, well, because we have this here, this is eventually important for us. And I'm going to assume one thing, because that's probably most likely in that, that this is a situation that always happens the same, because there's always an interval of, or at least there's always a result of every single hour here. So this would mean here we always show all of this. And because of that, then that's why we're going to put in then the interval here. So in the scales, we're going to make a callback. And in this callback, we need to focus here on the, not on the X of a Y scale, but on the X scale, because we are going to focus on this here. And I want to hide all of these and only have the interval of 6, 12, 6 p.m., and then 12 again. So to do this, all I need to do here is basically say here, I'm going to say ticks, and in the ticks here, we're going to say callback. And this callback, but we type in here callback, and then we have three specific values. We have the value, comma, we have the index number, comma, and the values. So then we use here a function arrow expression because it's a callback basically this is indicating that this is a function like this basically that's the alternative and then what we want to do here is the following 
we want to show here but of course I want to first console log these so we have understanding what this all does and mean so let's do a value here save this refresh open up the developer tab you get an error here most likely I forgot a comma so you can see here I forgot the comma save that refresh all right so there we are we have all of this still but you can see here the value here is basically the number itself which is the index itself as well or I'm not sure even it is sorry it is the index you can see here that's the index that's that is basically the value you might say well how come it's not ours well because we didn't convert it with the time date adapter into a time and date because we're using this and it was based on the question that had this hard code in here so I assume that this is a segment or a label that will always appear for every single day doesn't matter what the date would be all right so we have this one so the value looks like the index and the index of course is just like the value so then the final one is of course what is the values so we have this here click on that and you can see here we have a length of zero or let's do here uh, let's see here prototype what do we have here well, it shows you all of this information. However, it doesn't matter here because it just doesn't recognize it at all. Why? Right? Because we have nothing to return. So if you would return, we could do the form. We just say return here and we just do return value. If I save this refresh, you will see here. Let's see if this now shows. All right. So it does show here something now. But honestly, it shows nothing of use value for us. It just shows here the index number because this is just considered now as an index number because of the scale type that we're using because this is right now just the Cartesian scale type and the Cartesian scale type just considers every item as an index number there's no value at all however so how do we solve this well first of all how can we get the real text that we want which is 12 midnight 1 a.m. etc etc well we have all of this here and what we can do here is just basically say the following we know the index so if we know the index, we have this here, we can just go here very simple, we can go in here, or we could go, uh, well, we can just do it from there. So we can just say here, I'm going to say data, dot, and then from the data, we can go here, basically, to the labels, that's the one we need. And the labels here with the index number will give us the right value. If I save that, refresh, there you are. So now we get everything. All right. So let's convert this now back into the original item. Save that. There we are. All right. So now we have this. And this is just only one part of it. Because now how can we hide and show only the ones that matters? Well, for this, I'm going to do the following. We're going to convert this here. And basically what I want to do is an if statement. And this if statement, because we have here, and I'm expecting, this was based on the question, I expect a consistency of 12 midnight 6 a.m. and then we have your 12 noon and 6 p.m. and again 12 midnight in that case because of that consistency we can make an if statement and this if statement is very straightforward we're going to say if index which is the index number equals strict to zero if it's zero well then show this so I'm going to just put this in here return and you will see now it will show a nice item refreshes it but and it shows only this single item which is index zero that is correct so now what we can do here is do another one where you can say here or index equals six or index equals 12 or index equals 18 and finally or index equals 24 if I save this refresh you can see here now we get these very nice items here showing it per segment here beautifully and that's basically how we can play around with this we can hide these grid lines if that is necessary but in this case it doesn't matter focus will be most specifically on this here and that's basically what we did so if you want to perhaps hide grid lines or change the grid lines i'm going to recommend you another video on how to hide grid lines in ChartJS3. This video covers exactly how to do this.